Food chains at the most basic level consist of producers and consumers. Organisms such as plants, algae or some bacteria produce their own food. They are autotrophic. Consumers such as fungi, animals or most bacteria live by taking in and digesting organic substances produced by other organisms. Fungi derive all of their energy and growth materials from their growth medium through biochemical decomposition processes. Fungi are heterotrophs, able to feed on different substrates. Saprotrophic fungi feed on decaying matter. Symbiontic fungi live in mutualistic relationships, for example with algae in lichen or with trees in mycorrhizae. The algae or plants make organic molecules by photosynthesis and supply them to the fungi in the form of sugars or lipids, while the fungi supply the plant with water and mineral nutrients. Symbiosis between animals and fungi has been found in ants, termites, ambrosia beetles, duendes or marsh periwinkles. In this video we will have a look at the mutualistic relationships between leafcutter ants and fungi and between duendas and mushrooms. Leafcutter ants are leaf-chewing ants belonging to the two genera Atta and Acromermex. Winged females and males leave their respective nests en masse and engage in a nuptial flight. Each female mates with multiple males to collect the 300 million sperm she needs to set up a colony. After mating, the males die. The female returns to the ground, loses her wings and searches for a suitable underground lair in which to find her colony. The success rate of these young queens is very low. Only 2.5% will go on to establish a long-lived colony. To start her own fungus garden, the queen stores bits of the parental fungus garden mycelium within her oral cavity. Ants have four life cycle stages, egg, larval, pupae and adult. The queen has to take care of her first brood alone. She will feed the larvae with unfertilised eggs that she lays for this purpose. Once the first metamorphosis is complete, the young workers with help the queen bringing up the next generation of ants and to develop the fungal garden. The queen can live up to 30 years and will produce thousands or even millions of eggs. Leafcutter ants exhibit a high degree of biological polymorphism. The worker ants are divided into castes, based mostly on size, that perform different functions. In established colonies there are four castes, minims, minors, media and majors. The ants cut fresh leaves, flowers and grasses and bring them back to their underground nests. Leafcutter ants can carry 20 times their body weight. In their nests, the minim workers cut and chew up the plant material into pulp to serve as the nutritional substrate for their fungal cultivates. The pulp is piled up in underground chambers. The minims form a sponge-like structure that is full of tunnels. The fungus manca, for example, Leuco agaricus, develops on the rotting plant mush. The minims tirelessly control the fungus gardens. They pick up fungus hyphae and plant them on fresh pulp. The fungus produces nutrient-rich structures on hyphal tips called gongylidia that are eaten by the ants and fed to the ant larvae. The ant faeces contains enzymes that are spread on the fresh leaf litter to start the digestion process. Ants have been farming fungi for over 50 million years. First, the relationship was relatively loose and the fungi still could reproduce on their own. However, after millions of years of symbiosis, the interdependence became stronger and stronger. The fungi used by the leafcutter ants stopped to produce spories and became dependent on the ants for proliferation. The mutualistic relationship between ants and fungus is augmented by additional bacterial partners. The ant gardens are plagued by a different species of virulent fungi such as Escovopsis. 
and to protect their monocultures from these parasites, the ants use Pseudonocardia bacteria. They hitch a lift on the ant's shell and secretes antibiotics that halt the growth of the parasite. This joint venture with fungi and bacteria has been the key to the leafcutter's enormous success. An ant colony consists of up to eight or nine millions of individuals, and this is known as the most dominant invertebrate in Latin America. Leafcutter ants form one of the largest and most complex animal societies on Earth, a true superorganism. Thank you.